Well, exactly. I mean, that's my view, isn't it? Hello, chin chin and cheers. Mmm. Mergers and acquisitions are still top of the agenda. Soon the gambling industry is going to be like Amazon if it carries on like this. Anyway, next into the M&A snake pit is 888, who have set aside $100 million for European buyouts. Quite why they quote the figure in dollars rather than pounds where they're listed in London and euros where they're looking to buy is anybody's guess. But some of you lucky operators are going to be cashing in. Good luck! to France now, hence the champagne. They had a shaky start to life when they first regulated online gambling by getting too greedy with their taxes. Une erreur de garçon d'école, mon ami. But they've now sorted that out and sprinkle a pandemic on the top and the figures look pretty rosé indeed, seeing a 22% upward curve. Bonne chance, bonne chance. Remember how we said a couple of weeks ago that Entain's bid to acquire Tabcor was unlikely to go uncontested by the other sharks in these increasingly infested M&A waters? Well, so it's proved to be, as the media's very own Montgomery Burns, Rupert Murdoch, has come sniffing around Tabcor's metaphorical bum. <laughs> Good flaming luck! Oh yeah, and don't forget that Blackstone have just offered an 8 billion Aussie dollar for Crown Resorts. Oh yeah, and Entain have just bought N Labs as well. Probably just like the N bit at the start of the name. Dunno! What's that? You think I should end on some good news? It's all been good news, isn't it? The whole industry's flying. Okay, okay, I get it. All right, all right, all right. Okay, but first I must say this, and finally, Golden Nuggets listed iGaming Arm has just posted 64% growth for 2020. I hope these figures will highlight that while we are in the business of fun, we are also a serious business. Ooh, profound. Goodbye.